what I know about photosynthesis, respiration, animal cells, and plant cells. Before we begin, we must agree on one thing. All living organisms are made out of cells. Here is the process of photosynthesis and its byproducts. It starts with water, or H2O, and carbon dioxide, or CO2, and sunlight, the energy from the sun. On the left is the side of a plant cell. It has a layer of cell wall and a membrane. The three ovals represents chloroplasts. And in case you're wondering what it is, I will go through the parts of the cell later in the video. The chloroplast absorbs the energy from the sunlight and transforms it into glucose, or food. The byproducts of photosynthesis is glucose, which can be written in a formula as C6H12O6. Another byproduct is oxygen, which is a byproduct that is very important to us. Respiration it starts with oxygen, O2, plus glucose, which as I mentioned is written as C6H12O6 and can be written fully as the process starts with the mitochondria. There are other parts of the cells, the cell that will be mentioned later, but mitochondria is important for respiration. Here's a zoom in. The mitochondria takes in glucose and oxygen and transforms it into ATP, which is energy, carbon dioxide, and water, or H2O. The byproducts of respiration are ATP, energy, plus carbon dioxide and water, H2O. The purpose of photosynthesis is to create food or glucose for the plant. This process does not occur in humans and animals, but only plants. The purpose of respiration is to create energy for the cells. This process occurs in all living organisms plant cell parts. Let's start from the outside digging in. First is the cell wall. It is like a barrier and gives the cell structure. Next is the cell membrane. It lets molecules in and out. It is similar to a guard or a gate. Then there's the cytoplasm. It is a liquid which contains all organelles of a cell. These are chloroplasts. It contains chlorophyll, which keeps the plant green. It absorbs the light energy from the sun and transforms it into glucose for the plant. That's why chloroplasts are known as the photosynthesis organelle, as this organelle was mentioned earlier. These are the mitochondria. It is important because plants undergo respiration 24-7. This is the vacuole, which is like a water tank for the cell. It is usually bigger in plant cells than animals because plants need more water than animals. And finally, the boss, the nucleus. It gives orders to the cell telling it what to do. When you're looking at a tree, you're actually looking at a bunch of plant cells formed together. Parts of an animal cell. It starts with the membrane. An animal has no cell wall. Then the cytoplasm. The mitochondria is especially important for respiration as it is like a powerhouse, taking food and creating energy. The vacuole, although the animal cell's vacuole is smaller, it is still needed. Finally, the big brain of the cell, the nucleus. In case I went too fast, I'm gonna list you the similarities and differences of plant and animal cells. The similarities are that they both have nucleus, cytoplasm, cell membrane, mitochondria, and a vacuole. They are both, they are both eukaryotic cells. And oh, I forgot to mention, both plant and animal cells go through respiration all the time. Plants go through photosynthesis when there is light, even artificial light. The difference is that the plant cell has a cell wall and chloroplast. Animal cells don't. 
The plant cell is mostly fixed in a block wall shape, which is why it has structure. The animal cell, however, has no definite shape. The cycle between photosynthesis and respiration is, a human breathes in oxygen and breathes out CO2. A plant takes in CO2 and releases oxygen, and so on. If you ever wondered why you were told or learned that we shouldn't cut down trees, here's the real truth. This guy is trying to cut down the last tree on earth. He swings his axe right through the middle of the tree, and the tree falls down, and soon he realizes that the air becomes thinner and thinner, so he starts coughing. He wheezes in gas for oxygen and realizes there is none left. To conclude, if trees existed, we exist. But if there are no more trees in this world, all the humans would die. This is why the process of photosynthesis must keep going so we can respire. Thank you. That was the end of my video.